Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm drawing Moana. It took me ages to see the film because I just never got the chance to go watch it in the cinema and then my sister actually bought it for my daughter on DVD for her birthday. So I, can't, I just watched that. But yeah, it was a really good film. I'm not the biggest Disney fan but this film was actually, I think they're getting better. I mean, the older I get I seem to enjoy them more now as well. But yeah um anyway onto the artwork i originally just did this as a quick little sketch in my sketchbook while i was watching the film with my nieces and i just thought it would be really nice to color it in some way and i thought you know what i've got a ton of hot press watercolor paper that i could use so let's just use some of that up and paint it with my watercolors and i hate hot press watercolor paper for watercolors I found, because I used hot press paper in my Art Addict Alliance piece and it was great with inks. It's so smooth for it and it is really nice to use with ink but I felt like I was really battling against the paper when I'm using watercolour because I like to have quite, a, not a smooth blend but smoother than what this was giving me and it was just so patchy and blotchy and I had to clean up a lot with pencil crayons, well, I didn't really do too much, but I think it's a, a style preference, I guess, with this sort of paper. It's it does work. It can it does look really nice, but in terms of the style of painting that I like doing, it's not what I like at all. Um, I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to get some more cold press paper, but. I will just keep using hot press for now because I literally have a huge pad of A3 hot press paper that my husband bought for me. So I'm not going to bother spending more money on more art supplies when I have some to use. And you never know, by the end of using it all up I might find a way to fall in love with it. But at the minute I'm not quite there yet. I don't know if I just need to change my technique maybe. So if any of you guys have any tips for using hot press paper over cold press paper then please let me know if there's anything I'm actually doing wrong or because the techniques I normally use just do not agree with the paper at all. I I missed the bit of the bleed that you get with the cold press which I suppose is what some people don't like and this paper just doesn't bleed enough. I, I don't know but anyway overall I am actually quite happy with how the piece turned out. It did take me a while and especially doing the skin tone. I mean you can see some of it around her eyes where it's gone quite blotchy but I suppose because of her skin tone it kind of works I don't know but the hair I'm not the happiest with but it does overall the piece works quite well and considering it's just from a little quick sketch in my sketchbook it's fine it works nicely and it will be available on my Redbubble as prints as well the same as all my other pieces um, but yeah, my first pregnancy vlog will be coming out in the next week. It's all recorded, I've just got to edit it now and then put that out there. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I'm thinking of posting them on Tuesdays, like just having my vlogs on Tuesdays. Um, I've also recorded another video which will come out after that one, which is a very personal video and it's a very emotional one as well. So please be warned but that's not going to come out for another two weeks yet I think I'll wait until the week after it yeah it's a you, you may need tissues and I'm sorry and it's a very it's a hard subject to talk about and it's one that not many people do talk about as well but anyway um I guess that's all I have to say for today so thank you for watching, I hope you like the artwork and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hold me close till I get up, time is barely on our side. Chase the leading us 